Hello guys and welcome to another David Simulata. My name is Serge and in today's video we're going to be doing a leak off test on this 2003 Dodge Sprinter, Freightliner Sprinter or Mercedes Sprinter. It's all the same obviously. Um, so as you could see I have slightly different system uh, that I'm using uh, than last time. Uh, last time I had the, like these like little pipes that was sticking up and I thought they were going to be the most convenient to use. You could just stick them into the injectors and, and use them. The but they filled up very quickly. And I was not a, actually able to get any proper readings out of that. So I consider that like a fail. So over here, you can see I have like six bottles. So, and this whole pile of mess here, um, I'm trying to plug in, but everything's kind of like out of order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly uh, organize this thing and then show you guys kind of like what I'm working with. And this video is going to be nothing but the leak down test. Well, leak off test. Excuse me. Enjoy the video. So, guys, I have simplified uh, this test a little bit. And I got rid of, uh, of everything that's completely unnecessary. Like that little pipe. Got rid of that little metal bracket, was, was which was like kind of like in a way. Also, I realized they actually assembled it kind of wrong. It was all out of order somehow. Somehow they didn't have the part, uh, pipes in the correct spot. Which would cause like first cylinder here fourth you know like it would be like all over the place um so now everything set up i was able to find the, the correct fitments i have uh the injector holders i mean i don't know if those connections will leak but they were a perfect fit and this is the one that says the o2 on them so now uh i have jump pack hooked up i want to go ahead and disconnect the pipe here and give it some ether and start this fan up again with the wrong key. So diesel is creeping through. There is no leakage just going on over here anymore. Sure, we got plenty of diesel on top, but it's non flammable. Well, kind of. Kind of non flammable. It's over there on top of the engine. We're not going to be doing this thing too long. So, the main thing we want to do is we want to find out which injectors are leaking the most amount of diesel. So, the first one is getting some diesel. These are getting it nice that we got this little measuring type of scale i'm gonna wait till they go all the way to the top and then i'm gonna well not all of them whatever one gets to the top first we're shutting the test down at that point and then go from there so this second injector did appear to me that it was actually replaced when i was actually looking at things and even on the test i thought that that was kind of, of a failure but apparently it was sealing up but i thought it was leaking that's why i was not filling up the tube on the injector number two but with this test it appears to me that the fourth injector is the worst and then of course the first one and the the, the fifth one so first fourth and the fifth is the worst fuel injectors according to this right now. They have the worst leak off. But probably if I was going to replace one of them, I'd replace uh, the fourth one.
There's also some bubbles coming out. So possibly, possibly it's getting some bubbles out of the system because with this type of test, it allows the, the, the leak off into these bottles here. And this theoretically will get rid of any air pockets in the fuel system. So after I shut my van off, I'm going to reconnect uh, the return fuel line and I'm going to attempt starting this van up without no ether just to see what's going to happen. I think that's enough. Awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So basically, let's just take a look at the numbers, okay? So the, the injector number one it almost reached the eighth mark, almost. Uh, injector number two has reached three and a half mark. Injector number three has reached the sixth mark. Injector number four has reached the tenth mark. Injector number five has reached seven and a half mark. So I guess first and fifth, they're both at seven and a half, okay? You know, give or take, very similar. So, from the looks of it, the worst injector that we have in the system, obviously, it's the fourth. And then the first and the fifth, they would be, you know, the other ones uh, that would be having the issue. But yeah, this is uh, a lot of uh, diesel in a short span of time. Uh, you know, maybe this is normal. This is me first time doing a leak off test, so I'm not sure. But what I am sure about that we got some bubbles in here. We got a bubble there. We got a bubble there. We got a bubble there. So uh, in a way, I'm thinking I'm thinking about just trying to see if I could start up the vent again. Uh, I just want to see if it's gonna start. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just gonna turn it. So technically, what I try to achieve by that is the same thing um, as as I would have to reconnect um, the fuel return line because the fact that it's not connected is really not not important. Uh, what is important is this is not because of the bubbles being in the system. Uh, well, air pockets or whatever. Like, um, I mean, they should have already worked themselves out. I mean, I started up so many times and there is a few return lines. So if there was any bubbles, they're going to work themselves out. But what I am surprised is seeing bubbles. And it's making me think that, hey, what if um, the fuel rail seal is not sealing up properly and perhaps it's getting some bubbles in there as well that way i mean that that is a possibility but what do you guys think i mean now that we've done the, the leak off test you could clearly see kind of like what's happening here oh yeah by the way there's my test here so one of the injectors nothing's happening only a little bit came up but now this is diesel that's coming up on the on the injectors um i hope you guys could actually see this and it's and it's leaking because i have this leak down test connected to it So the third one's leaking a lot. The second one here does not really leak much. There's some diesel on the inside. I mean, it could just be leaking over there a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, I think it's just leaking. They're all leaking. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next video.